Today I'm going to be talking about recommendations. Now I am not entirely comfortable about making recommendations and I wanted your input on this. So I am happy in some situations making recommendations. At the moment I'm doing the one like one book thing on Twitter where if you like that tweet I will um, reply to it with a book recommendation. Um, those aren't tailored, they're just books I like. I am totally fine with saying I like this book, you know, I'm a book blogger, I'm a book vlogger, I'm totally happy to say I like this book. I was also totally happy to recommend books when I was a bookseller and I worked in children's department and it was Christmas and people would come in and they'd be like I want a book for my daughter who's obsessed with vampires and I would point out books um, with vampires in them that she might not have read or um, books that weren't about vampires but were quite similar, like all the fairy books and werewolf books there all the time. Um, I was happy to do that, I was happy to recommend picture books and say I really loved that one, it's really cute. I was happy to recommend um, middle grade books. I would recommend books based on what my colleagues liked, what people I knew liked, um, and on my own preferences. That was fine because 9 times out of 10 I wasn't specifically recommending for the person who was asking me, it was they were asking about a present. So I was recommending them something to give to somebody else, I was going to be removed from this process. And also, um, you know, they were people I didn't have a personal connection with, they were people coming into the store, potential customers that I was trying to charm into buying books. The problem comes when you have sort of friends that are your really good friends, but you haven't known them that long that you've really established a true rapport or where you have friends whose reading taste is slightly different to yours and so you're not really sure about the overlapping. Up until a few years ago I didn't have that many bookish friends apart from my very best friends. I didn't really know anybody in real life that was into reading. I had friends but they were kind of mm, about reading, you know, they read books like uni for uni and didn't read books for fun after that, I think it burnt a lot of people out. Um, so I didn't really ever give people books as presents. I'm not coming from a family where people read a lot. I also never gave books to family members as, pre as presents until recently with my sister becoming a reader. Um, so when I grew up I didn't really get books as presents very often that I hadn't picked out myself and so I wasn't used to it. Now in the last few years people started giving me books as presents and I can't give them back. I, obviously not the same books, that would be silly, you know. <laughs> they give me presents and I, they're confident in making these recommendations to me by buying me presents or books and I just don't know how to do it. I think about making a personal recommendation to somebody, even on the internet. If somebody asked me for a, a good book that I really enjoy with these types of characters in it, I would think twice about recommending books to them. When people ask for books with certain themes in, that's no problem. Sophie from So Many Books So Little Time asked a while back for books with party house parties in them and so I could just tell her what books I've read with house parties in them because that's not really an endorsement. But when it comes to saying I really like this book I think you will like it as well there's this kind of like mental chasm line you have to jump over to get myself to do it and I really struggle with that it's like I'm it's like I'm afraid that if they don't like this book they will think badly of me and that might not be the case you know, I've read plenty of books that other people loved and I didn't really like that much and I don't judge them for it. This was a problem for me. So I want to know, how do you recommend books? How do you gain confidence in recommending books? Or is this something you struggle with as well? Do you just recommend the same books that you really love to everybody regardless of who that person is? Or do you try to tailor it? Because I think it's the tailoring is where I really struggle. I could tell you you know, for hours about how much I love E. Lockhart and Sarah Manning and Angela Carter, you know, they're my three favourite authors. I could tell you for ages why I love them, but up to you, but it would be up to you to decide whether you want to read any of those, if that makes sense. That's not a personal recommendation. And we say specifically, I think you will like this book. 
because X and you should pick it up and buy it immediately is really hard. That's just, just something that I cannot do. And so I don't buy books for people and I don't recommend books to people on the internet in that really personalised way and I think that's a shame and I, I'm maybe missing out on a good experience. So yeah, let me know what you think on this, I'd be really interested to know and it could help me. Thank you very much for watching and uh, you'll see me again in a couple of weeks. Bye!